Roswell, New Mexico has become synonymous with the alleged UFO incident of 1947. But in the center of town is a dedication to a former resident who arguably holds a more tangible claim to the city's place in history. It's a life-sized statue of a man, and he has a determined gaze on his face that's looking to the horizon. And his left hand is reaching out to something that looks like a control panel. According to physicist Deborah Baribashez, the gentleman depicted here helped shatter the boundaries of human exploration. Thanks to this man's singular determination, our world was changed forever. How did this steadfast pioneer become a pivotal figure in taking one giant leap for mankind? It's the early 1900s. The age of aviation is ushered in by the Wright brothers, who make history by flying the first engine-powered plane. But in Worcester, Massachusetts, a physics professor named Robert Goddard is determined to go even higher. He knew at a very young age that he wanted to dedicate his entire life to building a device that would carry man one day into space. And by 1914, after exploring the problem for years, Goddard believes the key to achieving this dream lies in a very different airborne device, the rocket. But to the public, the idea is preposterous. At the time, rockets are primarily used as fireworks or weapons and are unable to travel very far at all. Yet the scientist declares he's found the secret to launching one into space. He will change the way the projectile is powered, switching from solid to liquid fuel. This is a game-changing idea, a liquid fuel rocket. Because up until then, they were only using gunpowder to propel rockets. While more complex to produce, fluid fuel provides more thrust than powder. This allows the rocket to travel further. Over the next several years, Goddard dedicates himself to his mission, presenting his theories in numerous publications. But his unconventional work is ridiculed by the press. They call this idea of the possibility of traveling to outer space outlandish. Yet Goddard is undeterred. And in 1926, on his ant's cabbage patch, the physicist and his team are ready to test one of his first liquid-fueled rockets, which he calls Nell. They gather to put this colossal project to the test. They nervously ignite the diminutive rocket and wait. It's 1926, Worcester, Massachusetts. Physicist Robert Goddard is convinced that one day rockets will reach the moon. But he's ridiculed by the press, who claim he's nothing but a dreamer. So can Goddard prove his ambitious ideas are more than just pie in the sky? Goddard has just ignited Nell, his revolutionary liquid-fueled rocket. He watches. And to his great delight, the rocket takes off. It climbs 41 feet, and then it falls down to the ground. Despite not traveling very high, the projectile has made history. It's the world's first successful launch of a liquid-propelled rocket. In 1930, Goddard moves his team to Roswell, New Mexico, where he continues to build bigger and better rockets. Some climb almost two miles above the Earth's surface. But despite these achievements, the press continues to mock him. Goddard received an incredible amount of criticism, and yet he believed in his goal, and he remained determined to make it happen. However, in August 1945, tragedy strikes. Goddard is diagnosed with cancer and passes away. And it looks like his dream has died with him. 
But then, in 1957, three decades after Goddard launched his first rocket from his aunt's cabbage patch, President Eisenhower establishes NASA with the eventual goal of sending a man to the moon. And when NASA started researching how to achieve this, they realized that there's no way to do this unless they take into account all of Goddard's research. And in 1969, having been transported into space by a liquid-fueled rocket, Neil Armstrong takes man's first steps on the moon. The historic event vindicates the pioneer, who was once so mercilessly mocked by the press. If Goddard had been alive, he would have said, I told you so. And today, this statue in Roswell, New Mexico, shows a determined Goddard gazing into the distance at one of his rockets, a visceral reminder of how a childhood dream to reach for the skies became reality.